In the last few years, a cross-section of Nigerians had persistently called for the replacement of service tubes as cases of insecurity kept mounting. Now, some are wondering if firing them would solve the problem. Vivian Oguche has more. YCE, security scholar, Lord appointment. Ex-defense chief, minister, ask Nigerians not to expect much. Unwodo, others fault Buhari as Ohaneze keeps mum. Stockbrokers applaud, expect an end to terrorism, banditry. Wike, Pandev, others say action belated. PDP, Fayoshi, seek probe of former security chiefs. All these are screaming headlines describing a range of reactions to one of the biggest talking points this week. On the 26th of January 2021, Special Advisor to the President on Media and Publicity, Femi Adeshino, announced that, quote, President Muhammadu Buhari has accepted the immediate resignation of the service chiefs and their retirement from service, end of quote. Prior to this, Nigeria's military had come under severe criticism over its supposed feelings. The call for the sack of top military leaders reached its peak as it resonated in the National Assembly at frequent intervals. Finally, Major General Loki Rabo, Chief of Defense Staff, Major General Ai Atahiru, Chief of Army Staff, Rear Admiral A.Z. Gambo, Chief of Naval Staff, and Air Vice Marshal I.O. Amao, Chief of Air Staff, have been picked to replace the retired military top brass, General Abayomi Oloni Shaki, Lieutenant General Tukuru Buratai, Vice Admiral Ibokete Ibas, and Air Marshal Sadiq Abakar, respectively. While the nation's main opposition party, the PDP, says the appointment of the new service chiefs is rather late in the day, the ruling APC says it welcomes the development and calls for public support. Generally, the reactions have been mixed. That's a good decision. We have been expecting this sack for a very long time. To me, it's a very, very good thing. It's very good if they give chance for a new, a fresh idea. Public affairs analysts are also having a field day as they're throwing their two cents. To some persons, since I have a work on development, and to some others, it's related. I will want to align with the latter views because um, the crime and the violence in the country was even gotten out of proportion. Former President Odisha Gwambasajo, who said that even the removal of the service chiefs is not likely to improve on the quality of our security uh, situations. And he is a professional. I'm a bloody civilian, mm -hmm. candidly. So the, the only thing I can say about the change that has come, I can only hope that the new service chiefs will be faithful to their professional duties. Despite diverse opinions, a closer look shows that Nigerians do not yearn for just a technical defeat of insurgents, but a total eradication of banditry, kidnappings, terrorism, and other forms of crime. Vivian Uguche for Plus TV, Africa. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.